episode 336 of Apartment Hacker. This is Mike Burnett, Apartment Hacker. It's my mission to tease out human potential in the multifamily space. So we're talking about scaling up. We're using the book Scaling Up Excellence. And I'm still framing what this book will give to us in the way of uh, actionable items. And this will be the last video before we actually get into um, action items, if you will. Things that you can take away from this video series uh, and actually make practical application of uh, the second you have watched the video. So um, four big lessons that the team took away, the, the team of researchers that put together and wrote the book, Scaling Up Excellence, uh, four key themes or lessons that they took away uh, were number one, all businesses uh, share the same uh, similarities. In other words, we're all in this together. So the things that uh, you might be experiencing in your business as frustrations, um, just know that you're not on an island by yourself. There are other organizations out there in the marketplace in the business world that are experiencing the exact same things that you are, uh, which is great because when you come together and you actually find solutions for those things that are uh, cumbersome to your business, we can make broad application of those and hopefully help many businesses uh, get better at what they're doing. Um, this is, the second lesson is, this is uh, bigger than just needing more of good practices or more of good behavior or more of good fundamentals or more of good process. It's much bigger than that. And if you don't, you know, stealing from Simon Sinek, if you don't have a why behind what you're doing, if you don't have mission, uh, mission vision, uh, purpose, uh, values that ladder up to those things and actions and behaviors that um, make those things come to life, then it's just, uh, not to sound defeatist, but it's just not going to work. You have to define those higher, um, those, that the higher purpose for your business and why it exists in the first place, because that's what gets people in part inspired uh, to do great things inside of an organization. Um, so it's bigger than just self. It's bigger than just self in all organizations across the country. Um, the third thing that they learned through this research is that all great leaders, all great managers operate uh, as if they're knee deep in a miserable mess all the time, right? They're accustomed to putting out fires. They're accustomed to uh, res uh, responding to things in a way that is sometimes less than efficient and less than um, less than inspiring, uh, if you will. So people get trained in how to put out fires, but they don't get trained in actually uh, putting systems and processes in place to keep those fires from starting in the first place, right? Um, and then finally, they learned that the, the success depends on uh, the will and the skill of the people at, at every level in the organization. So it's it's not just the key leaders in the organization. It's just not just the senior leadership in the organization, but it's every single person from CEO or owner right down to, in our case, the porter or the groundskeeper in our business. Every single person has an incredibly important role in the organization and helping it scale up to excellence. So um, I hope you find this framing of what we are about to dive into helpful. Um, I think it sets the context. I hope it sets the context for what we'll be discussing. Who knows? I don't know how long this series will go. The, the book itself is two or 300 pages, but I don't intend to go through every page, uh, but maybe to walk through the highlights that I, I found for myself, uh, I found inspiring. Um, so anyway, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I look forward to any feedback that you give, whether it be through uh, independent channels or, or back channels or right here in the comment section for the entire uh, Apartment Hacker community to see. So take care. We'll talk to you again soon.